and we're privileged to be in the position we're in so we can't complain too much and of course you've been champion three times before you broke the record last year for most winners in a season as well the highlight so far this season undoubtedly has to be I presume Westover in an Irish derby oh definitely uh, to, to, to get another Irish classic is brilliant and especially in them colours uh, our first derby for me as well so no he, it, was a, it was a day I'll never forget Billy, uh, what a year it's been for you, of course. Pearls Glow winning Irish Champions Weekend, Le Petit Coco, and uh, to be in the fight here with Colin at this stage of the season must mean a lot to you. Exciting times, but it gets a bit gruelling this time of the year. Yeah, it does. No, it's been a great year. Um, and as you said, those two, two fillies winning the Group 1s um, top to top the year, really, for me. Um, as you said, there's going to be a gruelling the last four weeks now, so to be a uh, pedal to the middle now for the last for it, you know, but uh, Whatever happens, I've had a great year and, you know, I've had great support from a lot of people and I'm very grateful for it and uh, whatever happens, happens. And to be in this position, you know, it's your best year ever and fighting out the championship, Colin's been there and done that, um, you know, it must mean a lot, you get a lot of support, but uh, to get that kind of momentum early on, it's really built for you. It has, yeah, and, it, you know, it, you'd be surprised the amount of people that are keeping an eye on and they ask and, you you know, I'd be getting plenty of phone calls and whatnot and to, they're taking a big interest in it and it's, it's nice to know that they're watching and, uh it, it'll mean a lot if it does happen, but at the same time, I've had a great year and I can't complain. And just on the two of you, you're both great friends. Uh, we recently had a dinner, of course, uh, to come out with Pat Smullen a couple of weeks ago. You were both done early, you both ended up uh, in the restaurant having a quite pointed to you on your own, and uh, <laughs> there's no, outside of the saddle, there's definitely no rivalry there. No, definitely not. A couple of lads went to the gym and I persuaded them to come on for a pint, so. Uh, <laughs> Well, 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 when I say persuaded, I said, you're going for a pint, yeah, I'm not going to the gym. <laughs> Are you part to rehydrate after? It, it most certainly is. But uh, no, exactly. We, we have great crack outside the saddle and we're good friends. So, you know, whatever happens, happens. And it's the same, Fran. I know you were in championship battle with God be good to him, Pat, and whatever else. It's the same with the majority of the jockeys. There's a great camaraderie. I know we always say that, but there is genuinely a great camaraderie in the wearing between you all. Your rivals on track, but you are friends off it. Oh, definitely. I think, obviously, when we were starting out, it was, <clears throat> I would say, I won't say stricter, but I think the younger generation are coming in. It's it's a lot more friendly or Lads are more approachable, not that they weren't back then, but they were... Well, you got rid of Fran Berry now. <laughs> well, that, that was a big help. never approachable. <laughs> it was very, very intimidating, very intimidating, <laughs> very intimidating man, as you know. OK, I, I, I know what you're taking. I wasn't, I, know. I, <laughs> I, I wasn't eating back then, that was the problem. <laughs> and very, yeah, exactly. Barry used to get very grumpy. Oh, he's right? very, very grumpy. You'd know when he was doing light, all right? <laughs> you definitely couldn't say he gave him a bad ride to tell you because he'd refuse to speak then for a month on TV. <laughs> then he said... <laughs> Talk about th- thoughts or third game. <laughs> like you said, he took the words out of my mouth. Took the words out of my mouth, Kev. Yeah. Only as good as your last winner in Fran Berry's mind now. Well, now you say he's very critical of us, so he is. He's very critical. He doesn't spare us. <laughs> I have very, very short memory, and it's usually connected to my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that's just on that hey, you both have different riding styles Colin you've got your own unique style change your hands you're not really a whip jockey Billy used to frustrate me I used to follow you in race and I'd be where will you just kick now Billy will you, will you stop sitting please <laughs> yeah but, um, I suppose that's changed over time too I'm probably riding a better class of horse now and riding them I wouldn't say with more confidence but you know riding them like they are the best horse mm. in the race before I was sort of was on maybe the fourth or fifth best horse in the race and you're trying to run get them to run as best as you can um, so that's probably changed a little bit, but uh, still, yeah, I wouldn't call it a head waiter for nothing. As I was, uh, uh, <laughs> it wasn't just you used to frustrate. I remember when you used to get a few beers inside Pat's mum and got me good to him. He'd start saying the same thing as you. He'd be following Billy Lee, thinking Billy was on the favourite, and he'd start panicking. Billy, what are you doing? Pat, there'll be no panic. <laughs> You ride like you're you uh, you uh, you are in 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 real life, laid back to a certain extent. Mm. Yeah, I'd agree with that, Billy. There's never a rush on Billy. Very laid back man. So if, if he's panicking, we're in trouble. <laughs> and that's uh, looking ahead to the winter. Win, lose, or draw. Six November. What are your plans? Uh, well, I suppose we'll tip away with with a few social gatherings. There, that'll probably take us away for a night or two before Christmas. But. Uh, probably just tip away up to Christmas then we have those couple of weeks in January we'll take that and probably try and take an extra week with it so um, probably just tip away then. Do you have any plans Colin? No same as that Kev uh, we'll tip away I think that there's a few of us going away to Australia after Christmas for a month do a bit of travelling uh, the Goss Million and that going to look see that out there so 
when we have the time off, take take advantage of it. Great stuff, and there's a couple of weddings as well. Chris Hayes, Gary Carroll's and those as well. Yeah, as, as Billy said, a few social gatherings to get over, but sure, we'll be well ready for them from that time. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll go over Lee Roach's yet. Right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> One or two videos floating around after that. Actually. <laughs> and myself and yourself sent his boss a video around two o'clock in the morning. Yes, he didn't talk to us for a couple of days. <laughs> wouldn't be like him now, would it? <laughs> Guys, thanks for coming over and having a chat with us, and the very, very best of luck for the last month. Uh, you're great ambassadors of both the uh, for uh, Irish Flat Racing. No, thank, thank you. 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 Th